Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. Atlantic spades will be familiar to many viewers as they are staples of most public aquariums. So, the peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. This trawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. Sharks are responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the risk. Right,
The man eater's longevity depends on her nimbleness. While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so that ends the bounty. and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Six hundred twenty-nine days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can thank old Pete for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. Dynamiting sharks for a living.
Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. This trimoran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. Under 29 days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can take OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. Probably right under me. Oh, it could be anywhere. It's hurting me. I know it. Could be working right at me. Oh, jeez. A breeze it'd be nice. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. For now. Sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom interested about being summoned to Port Clovis. Shark is now a mega shark, often referred to by scientists as the 64 ounce gas station soda of large marine predators.
Tony Arkey features painted sails, a luxury five-star resort built over the remains of Tunamacha, a pre-Columbian city that was once host to the most advanced civilization in ancient America. Force of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spot anywhere to be seen. A day at the beach is a summer ritual that wouldn't be complete without plenty of sunshine, sandcastles, and circadian dermatitis. The Great White is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Come at the king, you best not miss. CSI Miami, right? Given the number of people who frequent the beach, it can be rationally assumed that a little human urine finds its way to the sea. In the 
not-so-distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after-toilet care. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society.
Pete, what's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you?